So salam everyone this video tutorial is on questions on quadratics and functions combined uh, let's begin with this question you have a quadratic equation given to you as 2x square minus 6x plus 5 and in first part you are being asked to find those set of values of x for which your y meaning your function or your curve is greater than 13 so the way you go about this question is 2x square minus 6x plus 5 which is the value which is the y is greater than 13 you simplify this equation okay and you will get this basic general equation now let factors so the factors came out to be x minus 4 and x plus 1 when you will do you can either use middle term breaking quadratic formula whatever just factorize it okay now these are the two factors which means Okay, if this would have been an equation, these would have been the roots. So if you consider the quadratic graph, iske jo roots hai, these are minus 1 and 4. It's a minimum curve which would look something like this. Now you want your curve to be greater than 0, meaning above the x-axis. So mark the region where your curve is above the x-axis. Now the, the solution to this this inequality would be all those values of x that are less than minus 1 or all those values of x that are greater than 4 your your function or your curve is greater than 0 above the x-axis so that's your answer for part 1 in part 2 they are saying find the value of constant k for which the line y equals to 2x plus k is a tangent to the curve so basically you your, your curve and this line 2x plus k 2x plus k is our tangent to each other so in order first of all you will equate them you will equate the two y's and then simplify the equation which will be minus 8x plus 5 minus k equals to 0 now that's your general equation at the time right now so now use your use the concept of discriminant when you when you have one intersection point or the line is tangent to the curve the discriminant would be equal to zero so if you apply the concept of discriminant b square minus 4ac equal to zero minus 8 square minus 4 times a which is 2 5 minus k equals to zero and solve for the value of k you will get k as minus 3 so for value of k minus 3 the line and the curve would be tangent to each other all right okay so we have a question in which the function is a quadratic function 2x square minus 2x plus 7 it is defined for all real values you first in the first part they are saying k express this function in the completing square form now either you can do the completing square method which i told you in the video before or you can also equate the it to the given form if you expand this you will get a square sorry a x square minus 2 a b x plus a b square minus e just expand this using a square minus 2 a b plus b square so when you will open this up expand this up you will get this expression now you can compare the coefficients you will say comparing the coefficient of x square on the left hand side and the right hand side your value of a must be 2 comparing the coefficient of x and plugging in the value of a as 2 the value of b a comes out to be 3 and comparing the constant term on both sides a b square minus c and now you know the values of a and b so c ki value here guys a jayegi 11 okay so c value is 11 now the competing square form would be 2 x minus 3 the whole thing square minus 11 turning point kya honge? 3 comma minus 11 now if you visualize this sketch it's a minimum curve okay 
it's a minimum curve with the cord with coordinates of the turning point as 3 comma minus 11 so in the next part they are asking you to find the range of the function so the range of this function would be f of x greater than equal to minus 11 if you want to visualize it, visualize it give a quick sketch 3 comma minus 11 is the coordinate of the turning point okay so your quadratic graph quadratic function would look like this so the minimum point is minus 11 all right so in the next part they are saying find the set of values of x for which your f of x is less than 21 so let me do the next part over here my f of x must be less than 21 f of x less than 21 your function is 2x squared minus 12x plus 7 less than 21 sabse pehle aap isko rearrange kar le 2x squared minus 12x minus 14 less than 0 now just factorize it once you factorize it you get x minus 7 x plus 1 less than 0 now this curve would have roots at minus 1 and 7 it's a minimum curve guys and you want to find those values of x where your function is less than 0 meaning below the x-axis so all those values of x that are between that are between minus 1 and 7 will result in a function less than 0 so this is the answer for that part Now in the last part they are saying find the value of function g is given you as 2x 2x plus k and it, it is also defined for x for x belongs to r all real values find the value of constant k for which this equation g f of x has two equal roots g f of x is a composite function in which f is being inserted in function g so this is how your working would be you have been given g ka function that is part 4 so g of x is given to you as 2x plus k x belongs to all real values you want to find g f of x equals to 0 your you want to find that value of k for which this composite function g f of x has equal roots all right equal roots say you need to identify that the discriminant would be equal to zero so let's first form g f of x which is a composite function so g f of x means function f being inserted in function g function g is 2 x plus k and in place of input you will insert function f which is 2x square minus 12x plus 7 this is the whole thing is equal to 0 you simplify this equation and you get 4x square minus 24x plus 14 plus k equals to 0 now this is the general equation if you want you want that value of k which will generate uh, generate equal roots so the discriminant would be equal to 0 d square minus 4 times a times c and from here the value of k if you work out would come out to be 22 ok so here we have another question in which two functions are given to you f of x and g of x now notice one thing it's not it's not a quadratic equation not a linear equation whereas it's a reciprocal equation and generally reciprocal equations have graphs such as these okay i'll let you know right now so in part one you need to find and simplify the expression fg of x which is a composite function which means g of x function being inserted in function f so your function f is 4 over x 
where which is your input value in place of input value x you will insert the function g which is 4 over 5x plus 2 and you need to simplify this so when you simplify this you must get 5x okay simplify now you are being asked to find state the range of fg now in order to answer this part of the question you need to remember what a composite function means composite function fg means that we had certain input values x which were entering function g which generated an output and entered function f and the final result is fg of x which is equal to 5x now the domain was x greater than equal to 0 so my composite functions can function can accept all those values that are greater than equal to 0 okay function g can the domain of function g is x greater than equal to 0 so it can accept all the inputs that are greater than equal to 0 so the output of this function which is simply 5x so fg of x is 5x and we we know that 5x means a straight line so the output of this function would also be greater than equal to 0 because at 0 the minimum value would be 0 and if x is defined for greater than equal to 0 the values after 0 let for example 1 2 3 will generate a value greater than 0 will generate the function output greater than 0 when you will insert 1 you will get 5 you will insert 2 you will get 10 so for x greater than or equal to 0 fg of x would also be greater than or equal to 0 that's the range of the function in the second part you need to find the expression for g inverse now the same thing g of x is given to you as 4 upon 5x plus 2 in order to find g inverse substitute g of x with y and make x the subject when you will make x the subject you will get you can work this out you cross multiply and make x the subject so you get 4 minus 2y over 5y so you will say okay therefore g inverse function is 4 minus 2x over 5x that's your g inverse function so the next part of this question is domain of g inverse remember in my video tutorial i told you that range and domain g of x any function okay g of x and g inverse of x so the domain of g of x is actually the will become the range of g inverse of x and the range of g of x would become the domain of g inverse of x now we know that the domain of g of x is greater than or equal to 0 so the range of g inverse would be greater than or equal to 0 and the what you can say you need to find the domain of g inverse now domain of g inverse which is this thing would be equal to range of g of x now these are reciprocal functions okay reciprocal function would look like this just a second reciprocal function would look like this so if i give a quick sketch of g of x this this function is defined for x greater than or equal to 0 so at 0 g at 0 g of 0 would be 4 upon 2 2 so the value is 2 and as i keep on increasing the value of x in the denominator the function will be decreasing so the function would be decreasing like this remember it has it has a general sketch like this so this curve will never intersect the x-axis so the value would be 2 and here the 
it's above zero so the range you can say that the range of function g range of g of x is g of x greater than 0 less than equal to 2 therefore domain of g inverse of x would be x greater than 0 less than equal to 2 thank you for watching this video